Did you know there were female gladiators in the ancient Roman world? Well, all you warrior women out there, there were. And it was such an ordeal that men emperors had to go out of their way and establish decrees forbidding women from participating in the game. <laughs> I'm Katrina Kelly, an art history professor, but today my stage name is Amazon, recalling the tribe of warrior women that fought the ancient Greeks. What was a woman's role in the gladiatorial games? Petronius refers to women who fought on a chariot. A poet mentions a woman who killed boars. A relief from Italy mentions a man who put on games with female fighters, and he bragged that he was the first to display women in combat. The archaeological evidence for female gladiators relies mainly on the second century marble relief from Halicarnassus, modern-day Turkey. Even with some of the damaged areas, we know what the subject is two female gladiators. Essentially, the existence of this artwork proves that female gladiatorial combat was taken seriously, and it was an occasion worthy of commemorating. The most convincing evidence that they are female is that their chests are bare, and they have female inscriptions telling us their gladiator stage names in Greek, Amazon and Achilia. Amazon was meant to recall the famous Amazon warrior women of mythology. Achilia is the female version of Achilles, chosen to recall the great Homeric warrior of the Trojan War. Achilles was feminized by adding the A. The two women removed their helmets once the match was declared a tie. The Greek inscription above the figures means they were released or freed. If neither gladiator in the match could dominate the other, then both could be released. This could be from combat of the day or perhaps even their freedom. Since this is a marble relief, some scholars tend to believe that it may have been in more of a public setting, like a gladiator school where they received their training. Class seems to be more important than gender because at times women of low class are permitted in the arena but not women of elite status. Some associate the Emperor Augustus with the Pax Romana, or his generous building and art campaigns, which is true. However, he also sent women to the nosebleed section of the arena. He divided the seating to reflect his conception of how Roman society ought to be arranged. The women were to sit as far back as possible. Being a female gladiator in ancient Rome was not the most common or desirable option for all women. Nonetheless, its history is compelling and captivating. With that, ladies of all classes and creeds, go fight gladiator style for what you believe in. Fight for your freedom to sit wherever you want to say whatever you want, to do whatever you want, and to wear whatever you want. Join me next time when I discuss another strong and captivating woman from history.